Welcome everybody. We are going to do a Mercury retrograde reading for Gemini. The retrograde starts on the 4th or the 5th, depending on what, whatever. <laughs> so if you're wondering when it starts. Gemini, you have the High Priestess, the Temperance card, and the uh, Knight of Wands. You also have this Windfall card. It says, expect a sudden windfall or of money or a pay raise soon. It also says spend money wisely. Pretty much all these cards do, but you know, I definitely would keep an eye on your finances. I feel that for a lot of you Gemini people, it's like money. Again, uh, Mercury retrograde can bring money back from, that is owed to us. So if there's money that's owed to you from a person, that's definitely popping into my head with this card. I also feel like, again, if you have done a lot of work on a project, a business, um, you know, pretty much anything else, that's where this money could be coming from, from, you know, work that was done in the past. And I definitely feel that here, especially um, I'm getting here that if you haven't been getting results, your first card is the High Priestess. The High Priestess, of course, can represent trusting your intuition, digging into mysteries, and, you know, all that other good stuff, right? But uh, the High Priestess can also represent unlimited potential. Uh, she has no roof over her head. And it just says that she is able or can reach heights that she never thought possible if she set her mind to it. So I think for a lot of you that this is saying that if you set your mind to something, you can probably exceed your own expectations. Now, of course, with the High Priestess, she represents mystery. And so we have to learn from things that are mysterious. If something is a, mis a mystery to you and you don't understand... Um, you know, if you don't understand like how to do something, High Priestess says, look behind the curtain and see how things are really done and you will easily be able to overcome or do things that you don't think you can do. Uh, the other thing that I'm getting here is that there is a theory, we don't actually know this, but there's a theory that she has her back to the world, uh, the High Priestess. And so sometimes we have to shut ourselves out, right? And <laughs> we have to uh, kind of go into hermit mode, if you will, even though she's the High Priestess. And I feel that a lot of you, if you have been in hermit mode, you're actually going to be more social uh, during this mercury retrograde so you could find yourself socializing i get something about like new neighbors or something i know it's popping into my head if you're getting new neighbors uh you could be f like forming like a really good friendship or something like that with new neighbors it's popping into my head for some of you uh, you have the temperance card um you know i think during this time you are going to find that you can easily find answers to overcome problems but not even just problems again with the temperance card we can turn a negative into a positive. We can turn a positive into a negative as well. Obviously, go the good direction. But, you know, again, if you're trying to improve things in your life or if you're just trying to improve your situation, I think like a little bit of research with the uh, high priestess would be extremely beneficial for you. You know, she has these pomegranates behind her. Uh, pomegranates are like the fruit of the underworld. She also has these date palms uh, behind her. Uh, dates are kind of like survivors. They're meant to represent survival energy in uh, in the tarot, but um, they also both represent sacrifices. So some of you could be uh, sacrificing something as well. It just it popped into my head with both of these cards, but it's like you're sacrificing a belief, you know, or a belief system, maybe that you can't do something or that you're not capable of doing something, and I feel like you're going on the adventure uh, with the Knight of Wands. Knight of Wands is the true builder in the tarot, so even if he doesn't know how to do something, uh, he figures it out. He builds as he goes, so he goes on an adventure. If he gets to a point where he doesn't know what he needs to do next, he just learns. He figures it out, and he builds whatever he needs to build. Uh, perfect card for you, Gemini, really, because he's very spontaneous. I think Gemini does really, really well with you know, random, spontaneous energy. So uh, it looks pretty good to me. Uh, let's clarify. Uh, with the High Priestess, you have the Four Swords. Like I said, I think you've been in Hermit mode, right? You've been hoping and praying for certain blessings. You know, the High Priestess, she has that crown on her head as well. And she sees the beginning, middle, and end of every situation uh, before she enters into it. She can see the past, present, future, or she can see the beginning, middle, and end of anything that she's about to do. And I feel that... Um, Maybe you've been withdrawn or maybe you've been more isolated over the past few months, but it was probably necessary to see the future. <laughs> and so maybe you are literally seeing the future during this retrograde. Uh, well, you cannot make this up. I told you with, with that temperance card, I got something about a neighbor, a new neighbor or something. You have the three cups. 
three cups is a card of your community, the people around you, making new friends. I'm telling you right now, if you make a new friend during this Mercury retrograde, there's something special about this friendship. What? I have no freaking clue, but it popped into my head on that Temperance card, and here you go. So I think that, you know, this could be, it could just be like a really fulfilling friendship, or, you know, it popped into my head as a neighbor or something like that, but whatever. It, you Maybe you go to the gym, you meet a new friend or something. It feels like a friend, not love. It doesn't really feel like love to me. I feel like it's an important friend for whatever reason. It could be like a person who helps you get some sort of harvest as well. Um, these three ladies are celebrating a harvest, so whatever it is, is very good. Uh, with the Knight of Wands, you have the Five of Wands. Uh, like everyone else, every everyone and their mother feels resistance right now. So I think that we're all just here to pu pushing through resistance. Uh, the, it's a specific type of resistance as well, I would say, that people are feeling right now. I feel like it's the I can't do it, you know, resistance where you have a goal, you have a wish, you have a dream, you have something you want to do, and you just feel you can't push past that little you know, obstacle or barrier that's in your mind. So I feel like this is true for pretty much everyone that's alive right now. And if we push through it, and the tr the solution of the five of wands is education, uh, these people are learning how to fight. And, you know, really, it's about kind of like looking at the competition or, you know, if you if there is no competition for what you're trying to do, it's about looking for an example. And if you can look and learn from an example or a competition, then you'll be very successful. So there you go, Gemini. I love that. That looks really good for you. We'll do a collective as well so for the collective we have the uh queen of pentacles the seven of cups and the eight of wands uh for the collective we have this workaholic card it says having a strong work ethic and giving it 110 percent all the time it says hard work beats talent when uh talent doesn't work hard uh, i actually feel like everybody in the collective is going to be feeling very motivated so again it could be one of those retrogrades where uh, people really feel more uh, motivated more energetic not the other way around uh, i would say that i do think it's a good time uh, to practice taking a rest or getting rest or taking a break. We have Mars going retrograde at the end of the year, pretty much in the same area of the sky in Leo. This Mercury retrogrades in Leo. And, um, you know, also we'll have Mars going retrograde in Leo at the end of the year. And so I kind of feel it's like a little bit of practice for when we get there. Uh, Leo is kind of like our life force, our vitality. And so, I, you know, when Mars goes retrograde there, you're going to want to have energy saved up. So if you feel like working, work. If you feel like resting and sleeping, rest and sleep like practice collecting your energy so that when we get to the end of the year you have more than enough energy to get through the end of the year uh, we have the queen of pentacles the seven of cups and the eight of wands uh, queen of pentacles is a card of resourcefulness i think that it's a good idea for everyone to practice resourcefulness at this time we are literally in a time of resourcefulness why do you think all this weird stuff is happening with money and all that other stuff so queen of pentacles doesn't say don't spend money she just says you know be resourceful if you can do something for cheaper or you know if you can get things on sale or if you can find a better way to make money or any of that you know i that's what i would be looking for uh and that's what i would be studying with the queen of pentacles uh, collective has the seven of cups as well. Uh, big dreams at this time. We have Neptune and Pisces. We also have Saturn and Pisces. So Neptune and Pisces is your crazy ass idea. Saturn and Pisces says, get your ass moving. And if you actually start working on that crazy idea, then you might just create whatever it is. So I think we are in a time of big dreams. Neptune's going retrograde as well. Uh, well, it is, and Saturn. And so, you know, again, I think that now is the perfect time with Neptune going retrograde to kind of like take the, that crazy idea and ground it in reality. When you think about it, when it's moving forward, uh, you know, being on Neptune would be like being under 100 hurricanes going 10,000 miles an hour uh, with, you know, high seas, waves, you know, uh, 200 feet tall, you know, the craziest thing you could possibly imagine, right? So now that Neptune is going retrograde, it's kind of like calming down. And now is the time where we could manifest our wildest dreams if we put the work in. So I would make sure to put the work in with that Seven of Cups. Uh, you have the Eight of Wands Collective. And let me just do this real quick. Uh, the Eight of Wands is quick success or a quick conclusion. The Eight of Wands is also good news. But also remember what I said earlier about the Eight of Wands. 
eight of wands is like the slip and slide of life we have to and i think this is what everybody should be doing until like 2033 so you know almost the next 10 years i think we all need to be paying very close attention to what causes friction and we need to pay very close att att attention to what removes friction from our life and speeds things up as long as we double down on those things that speed things up or make things more efficient we will be like 30 times more successful than we normally would be so make sure you're paying attention uh, with the queen of pentacles we have the hierophant yeah love love is changing so I think that for and those of you that want love or marriage, love is changing. I also feel that this could be the opportunity for blessings. He is blessing these two people in front of him here. So I really do feel that there could be like a really solid opportunity to receive some blessings in your life. Uh, with the Seven of Cups, you have the Two of Cups. Um, yeah, I think people need to like stop dreaming about relationships at this time as well. <laughs> uh, so Neptune going retrograde is great uh, because... It's like part of my problem uh, with Neptune, especially in Pisces, is it's like the fantasy. It's just uh, mental masturbation, basically. It's like the fantasy feels better than the reality, or actually you don't know. Because um, what happens with uh, Neptune and Pisces with relationships is like we get into a relationship, but maybe we just are like talking to the person, right? Or maybe we are just um, texting the person and we develop this fantasy around the connection. Uh, so the fantasy, we kind of don't want to lose the fantasy. So then we never make it a reality. And, uh, you know, right now, with Neptune going retrograde, it's time to, you know, make that fantasy a reality. This could be love, uh, but the Two of Cups could also just be something that you will love in your life. It could, you know, Two of Cups can be you, you and your higher self, and your higher self is trying to communicate with you, which showed up like 20 times today in all the readings, right? So uh, clearly it's a very spiritual time, and Mercury retrograde can be very spiritual. So I think we have to, you know, if our higher self is telling us to do something, we need to like manifest whatever that is uh, down on earth. Uh, with the Eight of Wands, you also have the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles says get to work. Eight of Pentacles is, a, a, you know, what's more important than that, though? What, you know what I really want to say here, collective, is that Eight of Pentacles is about looking at your work. It's about seeing how much work you have already done. It's about looking at what you have already accomplished and putting that into perspective. Sometimes I think we need to back up and, and look at everything that we've accomplished because then it makes the next thing we're about to do 20 times easier. Because we're, we're if you're too focused on work, you're not seeing that what you're about to do could be easier. You know, and I feel like this is saying, it's like you already have all this knowledge and wisdom which came up a lot during these readings and now by putting things into work or putting things into practice you'll be able to accomplish something you know the next thing much easier or faster or whatever so there you go so uh thank you and definitely enjoy the rest of your week